Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Um, I'm not using my soft boxes today. Um, the lightning is not that good. So I'm gonna do a review. Last time I did a review about on Ideal of Sweden where I got these phone cases. Um, I have the Emma. Yeah, I did it. Well, this is for my iPhone 6. And this is for the iPhone Pro Max. Um, so I got a smaller one as well. I still don't know how to use this one. They sent me a video. It's supposed to be a charger, a QI charger. So let me show you the golden indigo marble. The downside is that I wanted a wallet, but I couldn't find a wallet. I don't know what happened. Their wallets are not, um, I don't know what happened, but my last wallet actually wasn't of good quality. So um, yeah. So I'm gonna open this right now. I think this is a nice color. It looks like, isn't it this? Oh my God, you know what I did, yeah? I actually, I think I bought the same, but in another color. What's this? Oh. Oh, I need to open this up. The downside with the phone cases is that it makes the phone slippery, so actually, when I have the phone cases on, they tend to sometimes um, drip away from my hand. Yeah. So this is how it looks like. You've seen in a previous video another opening of Ideal of Sweden. So let me see here. Um, Oh, see, this is this is not a good quality here. You see, it's actually broken here. So let me open up this one. I guess I'll never use this one again. So what happened here? I'm just scared. Did my phone actually? It actually, it's. Um, I need to wipe this. Is this the phone that's... Okay, it's... Look what's happening here. It's like... It's getting residue on the phone. I need to put a... To clean this with a wipe. But, yeah. So, this is basically how it will look like. So, this phone case is very slippery. But it's, it looks nice, though. This one, yeah. Looks nice. I didn't know which color to take. I guess a lot of phone cases look like this now. I took the blue one, but I don't know. These days I don't feel like blue. I feel like pink and those kind of colors. But yeah, a lot of um, clothes match with this phone case. So that was my um, quick review on the ideal of Sweden phone cases. I don't. I'm not sponsored by them. I just happen to discover that company um, recently um, I've seen a lot of you know people post it on Instagram and it's like I think it's the most popular brand in Sweden so that's why uh, I started with Ideal of Sweden yeah well that was everything for me I hope you like my channel um, I'm using a Canon camera with a uh, 40 times optical zoom but um, when I look at my videos on YouTube the video looks like I filmed it on an iPhone kind of so I don't know this is a camera that I bought last year a new camera and I don't know I just hope that I will you know as you also uh, I, edit, I edit on my MacBook and I edit on iMovie and uh, some videos are not edited at all because sometimes I, the memory is kind of like full so I don't get to edit so I just upload it because what happened, uh, what happened recently is that I thought I lost a video I think it was the jackal, jacket, leather jacket with fur haul so I was like oh my god I lost that video and I couldn't find it anymore on my uh, imported videos in iMovie and then I um, checked 
to upload it directly from the SD card and it worked, thank God. So yeah, you'll have to excuse me if my quality is not that good. I understand why people are very reluctant on you know, starting a YouTube channel, but I'm very busy. I'm a teacher, you know. I have so many things to do, so yeah. That's why I don't have all these edited videos like you see most YouTubers have. But yeah, this is. I think videos used to look like this on YouTube maybe 10 years ago. Yeah, maybe I need to, you know, update myself on the technology. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. So I'm, I'm having this hair bun today. Actually, my hair looks like this, if you want to see. I know it's very, very... Oh my God, it's just... My hair looks short, yeah, it's, I've been tying my hair in a bun for like, um, for like one week now, so now it's all up. I just tie it up like this all the time before going out, so that's why it's just, it's not falling down, basically, so... Yeah, my hair is in its natural state. Basically, this is how it looks like when I just wash my hair without combing it. So I just brush my hair, but I don't wash it. Uh, I, d I just brush my hair, I don't comb it, sorry. Basically, so this is how it looks like. Yeah, typical... Typical uh, wavy slash curly hair. So I'll just tie it up right now and... Yeah, I'm thinking about starting a fitness channel, then I'm actually, I get contacted a lot on Instagram, swimsuit companies contact me because they want me to pose in their swimsuits, but uh, I have a problem posing in swimsuits um, because of my morals and, you know, being religious, so yeah, that's a problem, but I do feel like a fitness channel would also maybe... You know, with my type of my type of body, my body type, with curves and everything. You know, people these days, social media, they tend to um, everything is getting like sexualized, if I can use that word. Well, I use the word, and um, which means that everything you post and everything, even when you're like showing your face, people are like focused on your lips or focused on you know everything for example me i don't have any fillers but i do tend to have these big bigger face um i'm a fulani and most fulani people they have like these small features and tiny tiny noses and i have like more fuller features so yeah it's um um it's something that i'm considering to have a fitness channel but then i have to consider that i have to show my body you know, and I don't want the focus to be on the body. I want the focus to be on the fitness. I'm I'm trying to help women like build the type of body they want. Um, I'm. Oh, what happened? I'm getting like blurry. Okay, I have no idea what's happening right now. Let me see.